If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3 DS max. I am working with an IPL chunk from the game, but importing lamppost 1, DFF, and perhaps a road should be enough. Later on in the video, you can set the cone's pivot to be the same as the light pole, which means they share the same coordinates in the map. Create a cone with five sides. If you want it to have more sides, try increasing the segments. We can set up a material to see how it will end up looking in the game. The checker map will be used to generate the model's texture later in the video. We can use the UVW X form modifier to preview the UV scroll effect, but it's purely for real time feedback in 3DS Max and will not transfer to the game. For the effect in game, we will use a shader in MTA. For the volumetric color, we'll use Vertex Illumination, which is the channel used for night colors. The colors and transparency levels shown in this video are only a reference, and may not be accurate depending on which weather is selected in the game. In order for the game to see this texture, we'll need to generate an image based off the checker map.
This volume light won't need collision properties, only collision boundaries, which we can generate in Steve M's collision editor. The texture can be compressed in DXT1 without MIP mapping. In order for the object to only appear during nighttime, you will need to do some scripting in MTA. For best results, enable double-sided flag in MTA. The UV scroll effect shown in the video doesn't transfer to the game. For that, we will need to use the UV scroll shader linked in description.